I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to make quick decisions during the Charleston. If you like to play in tournaments or if you play online, you've got to make quick decisions because you play on a timer. This is a great way to practice. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with Stopwatch app. We're going to do three laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers, and we're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll have 14 tiles, then 13 tiles, then 14. One, six, seven, eight pair in dots, two, three, six, nine in bams, three, four, eight, eights. We have eights. I would build around the eights, maybe consecutive run, six through nine. Let's pass that, break up a three. We'll pass these three. We got an eight. Here's pair of fours. We could maybe switch to two, four, six, eight, but we let a two go. Let's pass these three. We got a seven consecutive tiles. Let's pass these three. We got an eight and a flower. We have two tiles, like numbers. I think I would focus on like numbers with eights. We could do seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, maybe. So I think I would, oh, oh, we have like numbers there. I think I would focus on like numbers with eights and pass defensively. Let's pass these three. We have an eight. And tiles we can pass. There's a nine. I think we would stick with this plan here. Two, three, nine. Flower. Three tiles to pass for optional cross. Lap. Like numbers with eights. I would play the second like numbers with eight. Eights. These would be the discards. That was a little tricky with the multiples, but going with the most of the multiples, I think this was a good way to go. Flower, dragons, two, five, six, two, four, six, four. I think I would try for maybe two, four, six, eight here. Two, four, six, eight. And there is even a two, four, six, eight dragon hand. Let's pass those. That was a little risky. Here's an eight. Two, four, six, eight. We have tiles we can pass. We got a four in here. Maybe two, four, six, eight and two suits. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. Let's focus on two suits for now. Here's a two, two, four, six, eight. So I think I would let 
the six dot go. No keepers there. I think I would focus on one suit and dragons. That would be the third hand down. Ooh, let's do one of each suit. It's a little risky. Flower. Here's a three, two, three, four. Four, one, two, that's a little risky. I think I would break it up. West, no, these are not good tiles to keep. We got a four, one, six, two, four, six, eight. I think I would pass these three for optional cross. The dragon hand does not use flowers. Or, yeah, okay, let's see, three, lap. Okay, so we have flowers two, four, six, eight, and we have five discards, but no gaps for the first hand. We could even maybe do the fifth hand down and not use these if we don't get enough, because we need four for that first hand. Okay, next one. Jokers, flowers, two, six, eight pairs, two, three, six, nine potential here, two, three, six, nine, two, eight in two suits, two, eight. I think I would break up those and go with three, six, nine, three, six, nine, or like numbers with sixes. Actually, you know what? Let's keep the three. And do three, six, nine mixed suit Kongs, maybe. We got a white dragon, east, maybe a quint, maybe a quint. Let's see, let's pass these three. We got sixes, sixes. I think I would try for this quint. Pass these three. North option for the quint. Pass these three. West option for the quint. Ooh, this is gonna be a little risky. We're playing a big hand though, maybe. Oh my goodness, another one. No keepers here, optional cross. Oh, lap. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I would try for the quint. We could Kong the sixes, build up wins. That was challenging. Let's see how we did with time. If you like to play in tournaments or you like to play online where you play on a timer, this is a great exercise, especially when you get wacky passes like like numbers and dragons, white dragons, no less. Let's see how things went with time. Sprint one, two minutes, eight seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, two seconds. Sprint three, one minute, 54. I went over my two minute goal. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. So I need to practice with this new card since it's still April, the card is relatively new. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.
Okay.